Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Oh, baby, we got a strong front line with Top Scion and Jungle Poppy here, but what is CLG going to pick for their own top laner? Yes, they have Jarvan to be the meatball, but is anybody <laughs> else going to accompany him? No, it'll be gangplay. Blown summoners are punished just as easily as defensively blown ones, and they actually came out one summoner the worst. So all junglers have been attracted to the bottom side of the map. Blabber there charges in early, and Sven's going to be able to arcane shift out. Yeah, Sven's still safe, but he doesn't have a lot of HP to work with. If oh, his light goes further, but wow. a nice little bit of combo damage here. Contracts, what are you doing, buddy? First blood cloud. Fights in bottom river, resulting in benefits for the team. Crabber has has joined the C9 side. It's now a benefit to them, and he's moved all the way up to the top side oh, for another one. And he gets the flash oh, for the my. angle for the play, and Blabber is responsible for a lot of control. 1.5 thousand gold lead already for Cloud9, and Blabber's back oh, out to it. No flash yeah. on Jenkins. Done yet. Phase rush. Jenkins is trying to get away, but it's hammer time, baby. Darshan's getting that one, and Cloud9's making this look too easy. Not even okay. Yeah. It's a big double stacked wave, so it's an opportunity to try and force on this objective they've created themselves. You just got to execute. Here we go. They're going to put the damage on the contracts first, who goes right back in. The kill nice. on Sven is good. Boom stays alive too. Isle trying to escape, survives with 10 HP, Boop. tries to get out, but the man is still running. It won't happen. CLG is hanging out underneath the turret right now. Blabber's already moved himself over towards this scuttle crab. Well, not gigantic scuttle crab, I guess. Rift Herald. Sometimes we all get a little bit confused. Yeah, alien scuttle crab. He'll be picking that one up, and it looks like Fudge is ready for a bit of a oh. package delivery. <laughs> Jenkins is just getting bullied. Jenkins is out in, <laughs> in his retreat because it is painful. And for contracts and for the two. What on earth, man? Oh my god, brutal up here. Darshan the Colossus himself fr coming from Academy. So much time put in by him. And guess oh, what? No. Oh Blabber no, here. not again. They won't get the kill immediately, but they'll still get it. Jenkins, I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah. All right, it's a tough game in the top lane with the amount of focus been put up here by Blabber. And now- Top side, Darshan literally 1v2'd already. So he- Oh no. Uh, yeah, he gave him the thumbs up because he knew he had the trap set in the brush and Fudge is just ready to go. <laughs> Fudge said, you know what? I'm, <laughs> lose, so I, I'm losing. Oh, nine. This is a best of series. This is also, you know, well, well into lock-in tournament. Next weekend is the end of it. So keep up the focus. Finish this one out. You only have 2.5K gold. Oh, leads. no, Jenkins not again. Dirt again. He's observers, not, he's, <laughs> observers, would you mind uh, after this fight? Hold on, let's see if this goes anywhere. Blabbers trying to contest for this. Contracts is going to get the red buff, but will he be able to get away? Darshan coming around from the side, takes the blast cone, looks for the chance to go in for the knockup, forces the flash out of Poom. Darshan, yeah, he's stuck on the front line, taking a couple of shots, but it doesn't matter a whole lot here. Fudge oh. does get tagged. Gets out of the way of the Super Mega Death Rocket. As Luger's gonna take some damage now. Blabber back over the wall. Assassinate Palafox. Oh. Blabber gets away, but no! Jenkins' revenge comes falling from the sky as Isles is taken down by a rocket in flight. And finally, CLG is able to strike back. The CLG bottom lane breathes new life into this team. Flowers, they even allowed Jenkins from the fountain to be able to pick up a kill. He's back in the game! Time ago, so it's fine. <laughs> It's brutal. Darshan is having a field day up there in the top side. Uh, him with the rest of the team. But he'll make an infomercial for all the ways to make passive income with Gangplank. You know, the one oh, of those, late, those late night, late night TV advertisements. <laughs> Fudge going in. Here in mid, they're looking for the damage they need, and it's uh -oh. Luger first. Oh, Contracts no. and Poom both get away. True Shot Barrage will find a little bit of extra damage, but Cloud9 shut down that hyper carry, and that's exactly what they wanted to do. Rift Herald number two of this game summoned up here under the tier one turret, but Darshan's underneath the tier two. They're going in for contracts. Wild growth to keep him alive. Whoa. Blabber stuck inside the pit. Blabber ends up trading his life. One for one with the enemy jungler. Auto attack in the air, takes down Jenkins again. And everybody except Poom and Palafox are dead on the side of CLG. As soon as Darshan smells the game starting to drift away from Cloud9, he just rams it right through. I am not losing this game after what I had, I did in top lane. 
They get oh. these tower four, but Power Fox flank on Oriana. Definitely a little bit dangerous. Nobody else is even close. This is a little wacky from Palafox. He's um. He's so doing you that. know, remember that interview he lane early on, and then they get pushed all the way to their inhibitor tower. Then they start to reach a little bit. So about a poke composition. There's the power spike they're looking for. Force of nature now done for Blabber as well. Decisions that got them these couple of drakes means that they can take these trades comfortably, right? Yeah. This is Cloud9's first drake of the game. They're nowhere close to the soul. It doesn't matter too much for CLG to give that one away. The only part that hurts about it is losing your own soul point, but to take because there's no risk in starting it. It will not do any damage because it can't get through either the shield of Blabber. Now, Poom's nearby. He doesn't want to walk any closer until the rest of the team's in position, too. Darshan's just providing a distraction up here around the tri-brush, but the Gangplank ult is going to be used and called down on the pit. Darshan tanking up four different players from CLG. He doesn't walk back into the Chompers because the only way to go is forward. Chompers will finally disarm now. Contracts goes in. Darshan just now hitting half oh. HP, but a massive shockwave. Fudge destroys Luger in the counter punch. Contracts goes in only to die. That was not the right call. Sven takes him down, and Darshan just keeps the pedal to the metal going forward. Jenkins tries to stay and fight, but he gets shoved right on back for a double kill over to Sven. Poom and Palafox try to retreat. Did you see that Gorky burst damage? This is why the champion is so contested in the current so okay, that, the ball, the ball is the to, MR. <laughs> whoever you can pass the ball to. Pass me the ball. <laughs> exactly. All right, Cloud9, they got the 4-1 split. Darshan's happy to be this big rock in the side lane, or rather the mid lane while everybody else focuses the bottom here. And Cloud9 has already broken their first tier three turret of the game. They're gonna continue pushing forward here to grab the inhib. Fudge and Zvan will have no problem picking that one up. One last auto attack gets it done. Mid lane tier three only has a sliver of HP remaining. Fudge and Zvan continue to step forward towards that one too, waiting on Darshan to clear out the wave, but now it doesn't even matter. Backdoor protection or not, that turret's out of here. As CLG is trying to hold on, trying to defend. Darshan steps forward, he doesn't care about none of that. There comes another rocket going out. Darshan going in and just runs him over. Oh, Road man. kill. I know it shouldn't be that funny, but like these rockets taking 50% of people's lives and Darshan It's just... real funny when they're not hitting you. Yeah, Contracts exactly. goes in. He's going to be stuck now inside his own cataclysm, but Isles will be taken down with him. One for one trade there. Darshan finds a knock up on the enemy's support. Cloud9 backing away as Luger goes in, looking oh, for a little bit more, ball. but Sven decides to go aggro. Blaber charges in now, looking for Palafox. Everybody on CLG below half health. They're backing away. Fudge decides to recall Baron Empowered, of course, and he'll be right back in with the Empowered Teleport. Sven unstoppable with a good hit on to Luger. Only Palafox and Poom still standing. Teleport's coming back in. Cloud9 get it done in game one. They're gonna pad those stats as far as they can. Thumbs up all day long from the lane camp to the Nexus explosion. See uh, In this situation, also charges up passive quite quickly. Um, when Auction does get those resets, gives you another form of with the Hail of Blades. And also, Isles running the Glacial Augment here on the Thresh. We've been seeing this become more and more popular recently among a couple Level of different two. ports. Level 2 has already been found, though. Let's see what it's going to mean. Isles has to flash away, but the flash after is there. And bye CLG bye. finds a 2v2 first blood. Sven tries to escape. He's still got his flash ready. Side steps away. Oh. That I want to point out, this is something that's pretty unique to Akshan compared to most champions in League of Legends. When they had him selected in the bottom left, I'll get back to it here in a moment, as CLG are going for the four-man play against the three-man squad on Cloud9. Blabber smites the Grom, flashes away, but he flashes too late. Yeah, had to flash out of the way of the start of it, and that's another kill over to CLG. Uh -oh. Luger chasing after Isles. <laughs> Luger draws tower aggro, so not quite the best there. Uh -oh. Sets up Sven for the kill, and now they're gonna look to see if they can find anymore but there is items are and, and trying to build this lethality poke build muramana parts trying to stack up your tier early on it's it's definitely going to be felt shockwave combo Whoop! CLG barely getting the support away. Fudge goes in, and Fudge gets Answer. the kill. But now the comeback is a coming. Isles tries to pull Fudge away to safety, and he does. Nine, they'll happily at least pick up the dragon. It's just dragon number one, though, and pretty much everybody will 
take the timings and whether or not that cooldown is available. Contract summons up the Rift Herald here in the bottom lane. This turret is likely just going to fall completely here. Rift Herald almost has enough damage to get rid of it right now. There we go. Sven is not getting away. He's stuck around too damn long. Oh, and the Lantern is pumping as much money as you possibly can into Luger Poom. They're creating opportunities, contracts goes to play off this lane really well. And the best case scenario, they get two towers out of it. Jenkins, though. Jenkins is not, oh, they missed the Sonic Wave, but it don't even matter. Fudge takes the kill. Jenkins goes down. As far as the setup here, to allow time. Again, Sven needs to land poke for Cloud9 to have a good shot at this. They go in for the seal, though. Leeson can have the execute, and Jenkins. Jenkins is on the flank. He's coming in, but a beautiful engage from Poom with a follow-up Super Mega Death Rocket, but it is Poom to die first. And he's the only one dead thus far. The Drake still aggroed by the side of Cloud9. Contract's going in, but the Dragon goes over to C9. He engage actually got rooted up early, so it was delayed. The Varus ultimate had chained to him. Oh, no. So it was engaged, and now Jenkins, we're back out to live. And Jenkins. The CLG is going to have to stop those Drake stacks here soon. However, with a gold, do you need from him, but it's really hard to outscale a Gwen. Yeah. Plus, Gwen has some really strong team fighting opportunities for being frontline, whereas Uxin, you have to play the fight a lot more. Oh, CLG's going in, and they got a lot of damage on C9, but no kills just yet. Isles is going to be the first to die. Jenkins! And Jenkins goes underneath the turret, and Jenkins finds two, three for one trade. CLG. All right, this one, they got to blow it wide open. CLG able to find the pick. 500 damage from the Vex in the previous fight. Now, of course, this is going to be the third Drake of the game okay. for Cloud9, so they first as well to gain entrance. Top. Mid, bottom, all pushing for CLG, uh, preempting this objective spawn, giving them great positioning and flank. Here we go, boom, with a three-man knockup, and the follow-up is there this time. Cloud9, your fight is already over. CLG, slam them three nothing. And it's a white flowers, all the build up for this. CLG are gonna fight back in this one. They defy the soul points. They wipe Cloud9 off the map. They can turn their sights towards Baron, but they want to chase down Blabber first, get that jungler off of the map. If they take him down with the delayed respawn timer compared to the rest of his team. Oh, Blabber, that was an int, brother. That's well. not a good look. Darshan seeing if there's anything to salvage from this. He's going rogue. He's looking for the opportunity. He uh, finds two of them, but that's one too many. Oh. The heroic swing comes out, and he gets the first kill. Shutdown goes through, but he can't quite take down Jenkins as well. One for one trade, while the rest of CLG... They only find a single member, and it's still going to be Baron Buff. Boldly Baron for the next two minutes. It's CLG's game to lose. Cloud9, Fudge survives, but the Tier 2 will not. CLG's going to build that lead even further, taking down... They're just waiting around to try and sync them up so they crash at the same time, make C9 defend two points at once. It's just a slight optimization, so yep. you have more opportunity to hit the towers, and they get they both, got of, both them. of them. And now can they get anything else? Contracts again. Cloud9 base, and they're all right for the CLG team. Yeah, it's it's uh, basically blunder insurance. If you make a blunder trying to want to make one, mid lane and top side are open. Should probably uh, be a little bit more cautious and just 4-1, but they are trying to spread to all three lanes and that gives an opportunity for Cloud9. Oh, here goes Darshan. He tries to find the comeuppance on Luger, but he can't quite get it in time. They will both die together. Luger and Darshan traded as Cloud9 managed to find an extra one on top, taking out Poom. Meanwhile, it's Contracts and Jenkins saying, you can kill our guys, but we're going to kill your base. Mid lane inhibitor's gone, top lane inhibitor's gone. Towards them. If they are able to defend long enough for those to respawn and not give up the Baron to CLG, which is going to be a very difficult task. Oh, Sven! He's in trouble here. Contract's going in for him. Jenkins and Poom coming up right behind as Palafox has found his way into the back line and looks for Fudge. He won't get the reset just yet, but they will find a kill onto Isles instead. Traded one for one with the CLG support. Sven gets snipped, snipped, and he's gone. Cut right away from Summoner's Rift. Win for CLG. Kind of the final step that you have to take. Now with two inhibitors plus a Baron buff to to bolt on into the base. Jenkins has those mid minions moving nicely. Super minion heading straight up. Tower's almost gone. Well, Luger did lose half HP to a single arrow coming out. <laughs> they gotta be aware of that, but they don't even need
need to. Blabber is gone and boom, baby. Y'all better run scared because here comes Vex. CLG, they're going for the throat, they're going for the win, and they're going to game number three as they find their revenge. A triple kill, Jinx is no stranger to those, and we're going for the Nexus. See y'all in game. Uh, spell shield, you can avoid uh, a lot of the opportunity for engage, and big one is just point and click CC versus LeBlanc, shuts her down so much. Well, I don't know where the button is. Boo! There it is. All I right. I saw where he We got clicked. it. We got it. Thank you, engineers. <laughs> Y'all are the best. A little bit of... Guess what? Just yeah, a lot of the dive, engineers, baby. But we got a dive coming out as Jenkins is in trouble. He's down to 100 uh... HP in its first blood. Over to Darshan, but immediately responded thanks to the TP from Palafox. And... This, 40, 30 seconds. Yeah, it'll be a there. little while. Um, and you have to give up so much extra control. Power Fox, meanwhile, level 6 LeBlanc. Oh, they're in some trouble here mid. CLG's going after it yet again. Contract's trying to come in there. The Spectral Maul has already missed. Fudge and Isles trying to get away. Fudge has no flash left to try to escape further. Contract's continuing the chase. Power Fox right behind him. Fudge still trying to get out, but Contract's is hungry. He goes for the death sentence, but just barely doesn't have the range. And let's go over the thinking into it. Here comes Dershan down to the river, though. Oh, contracts! He's knocked up into the air. Auction gets the first kill, and now it's going to be Poom number two. Blabber takes that one, and Cloud9 responds there to the LGX. On the auction, this is the game where we get to put his name in lights. Game number one, I'm Zion, right. he absolutely demolished Jenkins and uh, by extension, the rest of CLG. Another hook, though, finds... Oh, those. boom! What are you doing, buddies? Ben's getting paid, that's for sure. Another free kill over to C9. Wild Nine on fire now with a lot of these answer plays. Up through the river, Isles finds the hook. On to boom. Payment received. Level oh, 6, Malzahar. Oh, Malzahar, baby. Palafox tries to get out, but Blabber's ready to go. Win becomes lightning. Point and click. He will be about two waves ahead. Yeah, definitely a pretty good setup here for the red invade with double support and jump oh, up. Oh, goodbye, Malzahar. No ulti on that one. He took Palafox low, but couldn't get enough damage. damage. Misses Sven, and C9 is able to get back to their turret. Now rotating multiple players up here into the top side, looking for another potential dive here onto Jenkins. Blabber and Darshan going to start things off here. They're waiting for Fudge to get there to guarantee that they got it. Jenkins gets away almost, but he's burning down, and it's Fudge getting the fadeaway kill. He's got the sticky honey all over his... <laughs> and Jenkins goes down again. His flash also burned in this play. It's interesting we've had so many games where Cloud9 focused on top side, uh, while CLG focused on bottom side. This is actually low health Blabber taking a beating. Oh. And Contracts is going to get paid. Blabber is executed in his own jungle. The Ruin King fight by them. Good movement up through the river, too. Remember, Isles bought time to go up and land the hook onto Poom as he was checking for fish. Now he's getting enough money to try and do so again. Contracts and Poom, however, at least have the opportunity to switch. The base ability of it is that it gives you more damage versus higher health targets. This is a game really without tanks, so it's not going to do a whole lot there as we end up having a fight break out. Isles tries to get himself away, but he's going to be killed by Contracts. Now with the resets coming in, Blabber's the one who's got to be careful. Contracts goes back in, but he's going to get mopped up. It's Janitor's Ven, baby, and he's ready for everybody except for Luger, who goes right back in to find him. Blabber with a flash forward to take him right back down. Four dead. By moving up with your distortion, now if Fudge ever hits R on you, you'll get melted by the C19. And they also have split pushing opportunities with the auction. So unless you catch Fudge out. Oh, boy. Yep. Speaking of a catch out, oh, he tried to get away, but he only found himself in Blabber's waiting arm. Moves forward as a four-man unit. Remember, Darshan is still bottom. He has not started to move yet. Contracts uses the smite there to secure the scuttle crab. He does have the next smite coming up here in about 10 seconds. Cloud9 already onto the Drake. They saw him smite it. They know if they burn it down, there's not going to be a smite fight. But now they're Hard turning is. back onto the enemy instead. Fudge gets the kill on Jenkins. Y'all are disrespecting Malzahar without pain. Yeah, you, you get some health. You get the steel caps to try and deal with your lane, and you get absolutely melted by a Malzahar ultimate. No way to stop this Herald from doing its job. Wham, bam, there you go. Turret falls here in mid. CLG still see And Fudge has teleport too, so you can go catch that no problem. Top side, 
does get up to the tower. Here we go. Can they pull it off quickly? Oh, Darshan! He stays alive with the shield bow, but Contrax is able to stick to him and get the kill. Now can he get out? Isles and Sven are after him. Gale Force has already been used. Sven, super mega death rocket! Absolute most broken mechanic in League of Legends. All Rylai's right. Crystal Scepter, <laughs> second item done here for Fudge. Talking about suppression, the Rylai is now going to make it so whenever those Malefic Visions bounce around, you're automatically slowing a target. Palafox going to get chased after here by Darshan, who goes in with a comeuppance, and they're ready to chase him down with Isles and Black. Or two. Palafox trying to get all the way away. Wind becomes lightning, and here comes Isles. The QSS is back up, but Palafox is burning, and Isles will burn him to death. Ping's coming out onto the Baron now. At the time, CLG would have to poke them off this Baron and make it reset. They're going to try and do just that. Darshan taking a lot of damage. Darshan down below half HP does lose the shield bow there. Thanks to the True Shot Barrage, but now they're turning in for the fight. The Baron has been stopped. They did but it. What happens thereafter? Blabber continuing to lead the charge here. He goes after Jenkins. Zap finds the slow one of the CLG top laner. There's your death sentence. QSS is in, but it's not fast enough. And Sven's able to get the kill. So they miss out on the Baron. Picked up. There's no Drake for the next two and a half minutes still. Even down here in bottom lane, the tier two turret has already been removed because of Cloud9's advantages so far. Isles and Sven now backing away as contracts go in, but they got to be careful, oh. man. The box is dropped, and Isles is down. Nice pick there for CLG. They're seeing if they can find even more as Luger goes forward, but now they got to be careful. Cloud9's coming in with the backup. Blabber's here in the middle of four different players from CLG, but he remains unafraid. Darshan has found an entrance on the side, but is it really the one he wanted? He gets himself away, and now Jenkins is in the middle of three. CLG's doing everything they can. They're able to find the kill on Blabber. <laughs> oh. Jenkins tries to get away, but just barely will not Darshan able to revive Blabber with that as Fudge goes on a killing spree and Luger is down. And as ever. It's one of the things that people were so worried about on release of the champion is the revive mechanic and in scenarios just like this where you can reset for these objectives because of the execution. Contracts does get caught up and it's just going to con Luger. They get the exhaust out early. Blabber creates so much space and Malzahar does get the ultimate cleanse. He's already gone, and they're grouped up as five here for the tier three turret in bottom. They're going to continue just applying that pressure, applying that damage. Everybody's heading for the hills on the CLG side as Cloud9 is looking to end this game soon. Sven just continuing to be that massive damage source here. The inhibitor down bottom now, too. Nexus turrets under pressure. Sven just auto attacking freely. CLG is going to have to make their stand sometime here soon. First Nexus turret's already gone. Second one's the target, but Luger's not even able to participate. Come up and is about to channel. Looking for the damage here. Going around for the angle, but won't be able to find it. Jenkins in the middle of everybody. Contract's trying to escape, but he will not. And Cloud9 respond in game number three. They will pad their stats however they can, but the game is done, and C9 take the win.